All right, so we're working on another project. Uh, all right, so all over the place, like I said. We got the uh, Jones with the light lamp. Right? Do the same. The Henry, the Henry Rock. We're still working on this rock. And we just did the ENJ bottle. It's supposed to be going in the dark. I'm going to check it out. I'm going to um, turn the lights off and see if it glows. Oh. Like, there's a lot of art stuff around here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you already know. People, when they see stuff, impulse buys and stuff like that, like, oh, that's cool. That's something different. So we're going to see if it actually works. I don't know. We got a lot of lights to turn off. I guess, you know, all the lights off, doesn't really glow. But maybe I have to sit for a while, because sometimes, you know, glow in the dark stuff is supposed to be glow in the dark. I'm going to move these over and see if it does anything, or if it just sits there. But like I said, sometimes it has to sit in light, but we'll let it sit in the light. I'm going to turn the lights back on. Because there ain't no reason why you want to be looking at a blank screen. Dark screen and stuff. But uh, sometimes the stuff has to sit in light. For it to, I guess, start acting right. And I'll probably try to think of, I'll probably still try, because even without the glow in the dark, I think it's still a cool color. Um, I haven't seen it, like, I might, I haven't seen anything like it, but, you know, um, even without the glow in the dark glowing, we got the glow in the dark paint. It says it's for fabric, I think. Maybe that's the problem. But... I can't really see it. I was messed up. I don't want to see the wrong thing. It will get sensitive. All right, well, it's a t-shirt two more. And like I said, you got to let the battery charge. You got to let the battery charge on that one. Um, the paint is supposed to dry. Like I said, I'm probably going to still put an engraving on it. I'm going to try to do something, finish this, but like, this is a thick bottle. I think I have figured out a solution. I can melt the uh, wax thing in something a, less, a little less thick. I don't really care that it gets uh, all colorful like that. And we'll see what happens. Like, it was looking good to me earlier. Now... That, like, I think once it's covered, like, even this top side looks all right to me. I don't know if you can get a good look at it. But, like, I think once it's completely covered in the uh, wax, it'll look better. And then, like I said, I might try to put an engraving on that. And 
see how it turns out to see like if it makes the engraving stand out now. Because that's what uh, I'm really trying to accomplish with different things. Is trying to make uh, things stand out more. Even with the uh, like the Jose, the Jose. Right now, that's the uh, Patron. Even with the Patron, the Patron still has stuff in it. But with the Crown Royal, which is my shit, I got my own little mixture. I took a bartending class, the, the shit back there. Um, Crown Royal. Apple Crown Royal. The pineapple Ciroc. Some pineapple juice. And you gotta pour the shots over ice. Some uh, triple sex. And top it with some green. So again, it's the apple. It's the apple crown royal, the pineapple syrup, uh, some triple sec, pouring. That's over ice, and that's a half a shot of the triple sec, full shot. Or you could do a double shot. If you got eight ounce glass, you could do a double shot of each, and then do a one shot of triple sec. Um. I don't drink like that, but again, like I said, uh, I try to think of different combinations when I'm at the bar just to try something different. And as they say, as a bartender, it's good to have your own signature drink. I'm not a bartender right now, but I still took the class, so, you know. Um, then you pour over, once the liquor is chilled over the ice, you pour in the, uh, you pour in the pineapple juice, you mix it. Top it off with some grenadine, bam, it's delicious. Another mixture out there for my homies in TV land. You take the 99 apples, 99 bananas, I'm sorry, 99 bananas. You get a shot of 99 bananas. You get a shot of, no, I'm not a lush, but I just explained, I'm, I, I took a bark thing off. Uh, you take the 99 bananas, take a shot of the, any, I, I, First tried it with the, uh, I think the Smirnoff strawberry vodka. Uh, again, over ice. I poured in some cherry coke, and then I topped that with some grenadine. And I also added to that some um, Galliano. That's vanilla. Vanilla flavor. Um, the other day, like an uh, old classic of mine, was it, it's a different spin on the tequila sunrise i i replaced the uh tequila with level vodka imported by absolute that's my strawberry vodka over there it's not the smearing off i didn't find the smearing off but with a different john the classic 2003 john uh somebody introduced me to the level vodka that was my twist for a while um it was smooth, didn't have a burn. Do say, I highly, I highly uh, endorse the do say. I'm not a lush, but you know, it's smooth. The first time I had it, it tastes like blackberries, but it was brandy and cognac. I liked it. Um, I haven't came up with a mixture for the do say, but I wasn't doing it. But anyway, um, like I said, it was, I don't even know what that says, but uh. It was the, see that threw me off, the level of vodka, some, a half a shot, like, I would do a shot or two of the level of vodka, imported by Absolute, then I would hit you with a triple sack, maybe a half a, uh, half a shot, or a whole shot, if you do the double shot, top it with some um, orange juice, hit them with the grenadine, or mix that, and then hit, top it with the grenadine. Bam. I called it the level horizon. Uh, it, it's not a, a lemon drop on it. I did lemon drops with, uh, with somebody years ago. And it wasn't a lot, right? But recently, I don't know when I was getting my fat boy foodie on. Uh, I was looking at the bar. I'm like, what you got? What you got? I was going to go with one of my mixtures, but they didn't have the ingredients for one of my mixtures. So I was like, all right. I think I'm the southern comfort now like for me i'm not really a southern comfort boy because to me it's a cordial it's a schnapps it's not 
Like some people like it chilled on ice or straight, but you know, since I'm not a lush, but when I before the legal drinking age, I was getting there. Kids out there in TV land, don't be like me. Don't go to clubs, especially stay away from a kid named Bart. Anyway, um, wow, wow, don't do any trip. Like I said, this spilled out. Um, I got bottles over there that ain't even open, and they were from four years ago, so I don't drink like that. But, you know, it's the man cave. Haven't been able to do too much entertaining down here just as yet, but hopefully, you know, school's over, done with. We, we went through the undergrad, master's, hiatus, where we were indisposed, uh, and now we're back. But I'm for it, so you know, I'm just looking for a special someone. I, I got. Him. I mean, I mean. Uh, so I was at the John watching the Sixes. I was thinking of the cover. I saw the grandma. Yeah, they both like a blackberry raspberry type John. So I was like, all right, give me two shots of the grandma. Yay. Um, I can't remember because I was also thinking like, what can I mix with the Midori? But I think I did the Grand Marie. Then I don't know what I mix with. I think I tried to write it down. And since I don't drink like one cup, I, I was I went and watched some of by the last uh, video. I'm slurring more than usual. Uh, residuals are fast. Um, that's the fun, like, it's a lot of funny bars out here, and I'm talking about, uh, hotlines, you know, um, it was the Grand Marnier, and I don't know if I did a double shot of Crown, Apple Crown, I think it was the Apple Crown, because I was thinking Brandy, I was thinking, all right, I could do some Brandy, with the Grand Marnier, then I topped it off with like a cherry coke again, and I don't know if I added anything else. But that was whatever I mi whatever I had to mix up. It was good. Like my your boy, your boy. Like when it comes to the schnapps, when it comes to the cordials, you got to know how to add them in there for that. Yeah, you know I mean, like I mean, like. I'm just saying, like, you got shit. Like, I, I was never a big mixed drink boy when I was getting down. I was a straight shot boy, but, you know, now, and it's weird. It's weird. Like, I don't know. But it is what it is. I don't know. I don't know how we got on that. But I'm going to see if I can hook up the Crown Royal. And we'll see what it is. I'll be back at you.